Labour lied. Let's call a general election. Before we get the ballot boxes out, let's put this all into perspective. So on petitionsparliament.uk, the UK's eco-friendly way with no printing of paper and destroying of trees, way of getting a petition to the government, someone has started one calling for a general election so soon after the one we've just had. And the basis of this petition is they believe that the current Labour government has gone back on the promises they laid out in the lead up to the last election. Now, this petition is taking off like a rocket. Just in the 35 minutes I've been putting this together, it's gone from 600,000 signatures to well over 760,000. And talking about rockets, there's one man also very interested in this petition. One of the UK's government's biggest fans, Mr Elon Musk himself, has retweeted a post from Inevitable West about the general election petition and has sent it all over X. Well, surely it can't be the whole of the UK that wants this change in government so soon into their term. Well, looking at it, I've split the United Kingdom down into its four countries and the micronation that I call Greater Londinium. And it's clear that England and Wales have a very high percentage of votes on this petition. Scotland have a lower percentage and Northern Ireland have a lower percentage. And Greater Londinium, they don't seem to want to change the government. So if your opinion is that it's time for the house removals van um, or in a more derogative term, if it's your opinion that the garbage should be moved out of number 10 and a random representation is a leader of one of the opposition parties, Nigel Farage is to become the new prime minister, then things might be looking up. However, It's great headline news, it sells papers, it gets people to click, and it even gets people to watch YouTube videos, but it will all account to nothing. It would be a bit like a turkey voting for Christmas. What you've got is the only person who can really call an election within the five years of this term of parliament is the Prime Minister, and he's not going to do that even if 10 million people vote or sign the petition. The petition will put pressure on the government and basically tell people what they think of them. However, with a majority that Labour have of 410 in the current parliament, the only way an election can be forced is if there is a vote of no confidence from the UK parliament. And that would, again, very similar to Keir Starmer calling a general election, would be like a turkey voting for Christmas again, because a lot of the Labour MPs would have to vote with all the opposition parties and assume that all the opposition parties want to risk their seats in another general election to actually pass a vote of no confidence in the government, which would require them to resign and hand over control of parliament to an opposition, which wouldn't happen, or would force a general election. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for clicking and thanks for putting up with my great graphics and boring monotone voice. I'm just going to put on this screen the very last thing before I download the video and upload it. The current rate as when this goes live or within the four minutes before I put it up of what the petition numbers are at that moment in time. If anyone has any comments, please keep them nice and safe and YouTube friendly. And uh, thanks again. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to do anything because I'm going to keep doing these videos anyway. Thanks very much.